Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. In the previous episode we had some problem with bridges and we actually have a guard still stuck on there at the moment. They are fearful to move. I'll uh, send them over there. I wonder if a patrol across here works. I'll try that out in but a moment. But we also went ahead and uh, did some more constructing. So we originally placed this building up the top here, changed it to a holding cell and then over to its final form which is the common room. Obviously we still need to put the flooring in and that is universally accepted throughout the entire uh, place at the moment but we'll see how we get on with that. That one we put in the kitchen building and then some of the items just to get it registered as a kitchen just for grand purposes you understand we then added in this building down here which is going to be a staff room eventually probably this episode and then also the reception and visitation and then went ahead and made sure that things were perfectly skewer by using our deployment and setting the staff only which is pretty much all sorted now as well so in this episode we want to continue on with construction at a bare minimum I want to get the reception, visitation and staff room done as well as this compound in the centre. This is going to be our treatment area so we'll have psychologists and psychiatrists and also the infirmary. We're not going to have a morgue in the centre here, that'll be probably elsewhere. Even if we, I don't even know if we're going to have one, you don't need one and quite frankly we'll probably just have it elsewhere. And getting all that done means that we are pretty much ready for prisoners. The only two other buildings that we may need are over on the left hand side. This is going to be one big building for protective custody and this one is for the criminally insane inmates which I've never touched. I don't know how they are in the game and blah blah blah. I've mentioned that several times before so I won't really go on too much. So yes we'll be building this building in some fashion. So let's just crack on. We're going to go over to the reception here. First things first we're going to put some electrical cables over and into there because that is our metal detection bit there. We will then go over to objects and then scroll right in to reception and we can see that we have things like office desks, chair, all of that sort of thing. So we'll have a office desk right in front of it here so as if you come in you'll be talking to the people that go here and that'll go in there quite nicely. We also need the table chair and we also need the uh, different tables around the place. What I'm going to do is place some tables like along here like so and if is when you come in basically you'll go through all the process of uh, like going to the tables and getting searched. We'll put a bin in the corner there as well just because I think it would be quite appropriate and that'll be us quite nicely I think there. We'll also go to utilities, electrical cable and then once again we're going to run an electrical cable right up. The problem is that we want to stop our our prisoners stealing anything so if I run the power cable up like that because we're gonna have a metal detector on there and there because that's where the door will be although we could have a double door in the center but I don't think so I think we'll just leave it like we have it uh, as as it uh, is laid out here so let's zoom in go to visit table visit tables are going to go in this orientation I think I did trial them in that one in fact trialing them that way might be better because we'd get a lot more let's go over to our objects there and we're just gonna double check to see roughly what sort of size we could fit in you could fit them in like so and I'm just gonna go up here remember the entrance will be like that so we do want a little bit of a gap so assuming we do it this way how many can we fit in the answer is a lot and probably far too uh, far too many but we could do that and we'd get in probably the right amount it's just a little bit on a off to one center one uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine so regardless of what we do, it's not going to be symmetrical. That's not a big problem, really. Um, we'll just place it. So, I mean, do we need... Do we want a door down the bottom here? In reality, it's not going to be used because most of the prisoners are going to be coming from here along and then into here. But maybe it's best if we go... If we cut those out for now. Uh, one, two, three, four... And then from here, we'll go over to... Actually, even better, shrink it down a little bit further one two three there you go and then we'll go up like that and we're saving ourselves a little bit of space then we're going to go right to the top and then work our way down with the planning here obviously these are all visit tables and then you can have the entrance in like so uh, one two three four five one two three four darn it it's not going to be uh, the right size regardless so I could just put a double at the top here and have two metal detectors that's realistically what we're going to do having them in the center is is just a bit problematic it means that the patrols are going to be off to one side but that doesn't really matter 
But having them like that means that we have a fairly decent amount. In fact, probably a massively overdone uh, amount of visitation there. In fact, how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 27 visitor tables is not strictly required. So, I mean, could we do it another way? I mean, we could do it like that instead. I mean, this, this means we've got the extra spaces around the outside for patrols. Not that we strictly need it, you understand. But we'll also fit in a fairly decent amount here. Uh, that will give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 24 if we do it that way. Um, that's not too bad. But there's still something about it not having doors on either side that uh, doesn't sit right with me. So, hmm... We shall see. We shall see. For the time being, is that reception now done? That reception is now done. It's all legitimately placed. You can see that we have actually just received some of the clothing there as well, so that is fine. Um, I think we'll go ahead and put in... I mean, we could have double doors on both sides. I know I'm spending a lot of time over this, but I need to get this right because if we don't get it right, the contraband's going to be annoying to, uh, to stop. I mean, if we do the three, three, three from there... I mean, you can actually place them right next to each other. Actually, that's probably a better, that's probably a better way of doing it, just like that. And then measuring out three, three, three. Yeah, that's a bit quicker, isn't it? Uh, until you get it wrong, you understand, and then it's a bit of a problem. Uh, that is okay. It's not perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not perfect, but we have the doors on both sides, which is what I was trying to accomplish on uh, both counts. And it is a double door because we'll probably have several people coming in. Okay, that is what we will go with then. So we're going to go over to our walls and doors over to the GL door large. Place the large GL door in there and then there. We're going to place, obviously, a... Where is it? In walls. Walls and doors over to the wall classy. Place the classy wall there. Green, naturally. And then finally, visitor tables, which we'll place in that direction, that direction, there we go. And those are now in, and that should be the uh, the visitation rights grant done. Obviously, it does require table uh, tables, TVs, pool tables, that sort of thing, but that's all uh, being placed over that side there. So that should be quite good. Okay, so we're going to work down to this side here. We're going to double-check power. Power is fine. It's about mid-ground, so that is acceptable. Over to this room here and build a visitation room. It's still not building it. Why is that not classed as a visitation room? Because it apparently oh, it hasn't actually been placed. It's been ordered, but they haven't placed that. But they'll get there in but a moment. So the staff room will be placed down here, and this will be all of the typical stuff that you normally want in. Uh, there's actually a lot more stuff uh, that is required in here now. Remember, we don't have staff needs on, so we do not need a staff canteen, even though it's recommended. We've got things like lamps and stuff. I know people have uh, requested that we put like lamps in. In fact, let's go over to... Oh, why is a moose head? Of all things, I don't know why that's in there. Uh, where is it? A court stand? People have been requesting we put court stands in for some reason. So I, uh, I think, yes, we will put some court stands in because it does look quite good. So as you come in there, we'll place a couple of court stands in like that, like that side there. So you come in, place all of your courts there we'll place a couple of drinks machines to the left and then we've got like sofa wide which we'll place probably just along here i mean it's quite a large staff room but i mean we have probably quite a lot of staff you've got arcade cabinets as well which we can place in there not going to place anything else that is now like a legitimate room anyway so that is all fine i mean we could place actually what's probably best if you remove those you have say sofa wide there and then there and they put you can put gaps between them because then you can put the radios in and things like that so a couple of radios uh maybe a wooden wooden stool go great with a wooden table so yeah we can place some of these in and things like that if we really want to so just place them sort of in this in this corner perhaps like that uh, some nice wooden wooden tables and stools like that just to make it a bit different there we go and there's the rough idea so we'll let, let them crack on don't know why that log is still sitting there you would have thought they went ahead uh, and they would have exported it by now. So we'll go to sell object and we'll just get that sold like that. Right, so we should have that grant done, which is fine. We do have the staff well-being initiative. So we got one, two, three people. And there's that other grant done. So there's two grants done. We now have the security procedure certification, which is unlocking uh, patrols and things like that and hire ten guards. We haven't got that. We've only got the five guards, but we could do it. But that's probably... 
more towards the end, we're going to go with the criminally insane wing. So government are willing to provide funding to expand the prison with a means to house and protect the well-being of criminally insane inmates. This grants the... Uh, the grant will help facilitate the construction of special padded cells and the hiring of trained psychiatrists. So we will get that. Ah, today's beverage is green tea, by the way. And we're going to go with cell block B because that's a nice little 10 grand advance payment, bringing us up up to the 72. And with that amount of money, I think it is time we do some flooring because, quite frankly, I normally leave it till the... What? I normally leave it till the end. What's that? Garden outdoor area failed 16 times. Uh, yes, that is because you can't go across that bridge. Is that correct? They definitely can get round and into this. Is that right? Yes, that is accessible and go in there, work the way around and then down that way. So that is accessible. It's just the bridge thing doing bridge stuff. Oh, yes, actually, let's try that. Let's go to deployment and then patrols. We're going to go to... Oh. We're going to go over to bureaucracy and research patrols. <laughs> yeah, that would, um, that would be quite useful. So, we want to get... Uh, what do we want to get? Don't want tax relief. Don't want land expansion. Intelligence. Yeah. Surveillance. Yeah. Although not really. Ah, oh, but it gives you the phone tap. We don't, really, we don't need surveillance. We're not going to have it. Because we don't have fog of war. So we should be able to see everything. I'll unlock it for grant purposes. One of the grants is to get CCTV, so we'll have to research it anyway. Uh, oddly is there as well. Normal guards are prohibited from attacking criminally insane inmates as they might hurt them in the process. Oddlies are specially trained to restrain the criminally insane without harming them. Oddlies will also fit straitjackets to psychopathic inmates at a night time to prevent them hurting themselves overnight. So, all is a brick to the face. Okay, right. So, we're going to go with that. And we will now work on some flooring across the board. Because, honestly, it's something that I always tend to leave. And I think we would benefit from putting some of it in. So, we're going to go over to our wall uh, flooring. Uh, I was going to say walls and doors, but that's not what we want. And um, we're looking for the flooring that's going to fit in this area. Now, I think everything inside should probably go with white tiles like that. So even the shower, the kitchen, all of that sort of thing, white tiles is completely acceptable outside. We're going to go with our standard concrete tiles. I think that is the way forward. But the idea is that we have the concrete tiles going to the areas where people will walk so around here for example is where they will be walking like that but the other areas such as like um like the sort of uh, bits around here where it's sort of not not necessarily where people will be walking we'll put probably like the grass we'll probably put grass in so like around here we definitely want a sort of a two by two all the way around the outside because that's just generally how we we approach these things so like that and then down to there and all of that and then this little section here but then other bits like this bit we want grass because we're not going to be uh, walking there under normal conditions I'm not going to go ahead and do all of this in one go because quite frankly it's going to take far too long but well, I mean we'll place grass in things like here and then we'll have the concrete tiles going along like so we do still have the problem as always with the with the look of the place with it being the fencing and you have the stuff underneath it which looks terrible so I will have to sort that out but I'll see how we get on there so we'll place all of the bits in around here I will put it up to max speed because this is going to be a fairly monumental effort for all of the workers to go ahead and sort out uh, you can see obviously the dimensions of these buildings are slightly different that isn't an oversight that is because we said originally right at the start of the series we normally we I very we very much over plan it um <laughs> that's just sort of the way of doing it it's just the decision that we uh took and it's just how we've cracked on with it but i think we want to just we want to do something a bit more distinctive and try it oh i say distinctive a bit more reasonable and less sort of uh built than we and planned off and meticulously done than we normally have so it's going to look a little bit more organic perhaps but it also won't look as um as nice I don't think in the long run, but we'll see. It might look a, might look a bit better. Um, so as you can see, we've got problems there with people not being able to access this area. That is very problematic. I'm ashamed about that bridge, and I'm going to tell them it will go off that. And it looks like they have moved off, and now they are wandering away. Let's go over to our deployment and then patrols, because we now have that got uh, all set. And you can see that actually it allows 
access to this part. So that's not accessible, neither is that. But if we put a patrol like that, for example, and then go to assign guards, I'll assign them to that side. Let's see what happens. So a guard will come along and hopefully go onto that bit. Although it looks like they are not. We would have seen them by now. It is not possible for them to go there. If I unassign them on that side and put them on this side, though, is it different? So I'll assign a blue guard, uh, assign guards in to that one. And yes, we can see that a guard is coming along and they have been assigned to that patrol and they will patrol across the bridge. So I can confirm that the patrols do work across that bridge. If we unassign them and put them on this side, they'll go there and then they'll do that. So that is fine. But what we want to do is remove them from that side, wait for them to, well, I'll, I'll actually tell them to go away to there. Then I'll go back to that and then assign the guard to that one. And then it has assigned a guard from over that side and they're not going across. There you go. So see what's happening is the game is trying to say, right, that guard you're assigned to the other side of it. Bear in mind, the only way to get to this side is across that bridge. They will not be able to go there because the game is basically saying that's inaccessible. And then assigns that guard which for now, for some reason, is accessible. So we still have some issues there with the bridges. At least we can, at least we know we can get over that hurdle. It's just sadly a hurdle that we uh, that shouldn't exist. But you know, we'll not go on about it too much. Uh, so in terms of the stuff around here, I do like the cargo floor for for these buildings. So we'll put those in like so. Back over to the concrete. Concrete and down to there. Concrete and there. Concrete and all of this. For the offices, we're going to go with a brown carpet. So we're going to make it look very sort of um, 70s. Brown being a 70s colour. Uh, traditionally. In the 70s. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty much the, the uh, look I was after. And you can see that all these are in as well. Now, that... That I quite like. That I like. That I like. That I like. I don't like that all the cells are the same colour. And I don't like that. That doesn't sit well with me. So we're going to change this to something different. Something that may perhaps go better. Hmm. Carpet doesn't seem right. Brown carpet... Perhaps in reception doesn't seem right. Brown carpet in visitation, I could be, I could go with, and maybe brown carpet in the common room is maybe the way forward. Yes, I much prefer that. I much prefer that. For the reception, then we're going to go with fancy tiles. I think. Let's try it. The, this, the the whole, like, clean white tiles, it goes, but it's overdone. So that is a bit better. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. We'll go with that for now, and the question is, do I want to change in here? Um... Not particularly, no. Although marble tiles might be better at the front. Because I don't like the blue in there. It doesn't go with the green. That's a lot of money we've spent on stuff. That's better. I'm going to go with that. Right. Okay. We're going to stick with that for now, mainly because of cash. So, we've got all of the flooring put in in oh, most of the places. We still haven't got the uh, brown carpet in there. Ooh, six grand. That's that's uh, that's quite a bit of money. Uh, in fact, yeah, we have not got enough money to build everything that we need. So, that's going to be a bank loan problem, but I don't have a good credit rating I, because I've spent it on carpet. So, this is going to be problematic. So, we'll not do that. We might have to sell some shares. I can't sell some shares because I don't have prisoners. Ah, this is a bit of a problem. Okay, so next time, take note of how much carpet costs. Let's go to cell block B and criminally insane. I'm going to get rid of cell block B and get... Security procedure certification. Right. Most of that is done. 
staff guard one two three four five and then patrol routes all are technically done there's another grand that's 12 grand advance payment we'll then go for hmm Prison acclimatization and engagement. That is a 10 grand advance payment, which allows us to build this building. Which will have an entrance in the top. So it'll be a door in. Um, don't really know where. Roughly in the centre. Is only roughly you understand. And we'll have in this one, once it's built, that split up. Followed by, we want cleaning cupboard. Get I'll hit L eventually. There we go, cleaning cupboard, which will go in that side there. Laundry will go on the left. It's already connected up. And I'm going to dismantle that door. And instead... We're going to put it further to the other side. A couple of cleaning uh, laundry machines. Iron and boards will use the large ones. What else do we need? We need laundry baskets and... Yeah, it doesn't It doesn't say we need tables, but I always tend to put them in. Just because they store uh, the, the stuff on there. In terms of the ironing board, we'll put them... Hmm, that's a problem. Is it better to put them in like that? Probably. I like the way, oh, they rotate around both sides, do they? Yeah, they do. Like that. Then laundry baskets. Like that. And then what we do is go to logistics, prison labour. There's that grant done. Let me remove them all, because that's staff only. So that's another 10 grand advance payment. We'll go over to the... Um, governmental security ratings, cell block B. Go to... Governmental security ratings... And then we can finally build the bit in the centre here that I wanted to build originally, which is going to be for our um, medical wing. Now, this is always a, in the infirmary. I always question exactly... Oh, I should probably put a door on. What sort of door I should put on there? Um, with it being an area that I don't really want prisoners to go all the time, I tend to gravitate towards a staff door, but then there's no real point because at any point, if it's not staff only, they can just request to go through it. So you might as well just put a normal door on because, yeah, that's the reasons. So this is going to be an infirmary. I am not going to build it up uh, massively. Uh, will this actually fit all of them in? I think it will. We'll put a couple of medical beds in there and then we'll place the, we'll place the metal detector in as well. Like so. Green one will go there. We will have to get some power into this, which will require it running across. And then there. The reason I'm doing that is because then I can go to the left and do these. This, obviously, will have to have multiple power plants in it. If we look at it now, it's running alright, but nowhere near what we need. Um, so that's the infirmary. We've got staff, doctor, one, two, and then finally a psychologist. Hang on. Is it a psychologist? Psychologist, not a psychiatrist. So psychologist will go there, and then there's another 10 grand payment. We then have option for cell block B, which takes it back up to 40 grand, which is the short, <laughs> the long way of saying that um, basically don't spend 40 to 50 grand on carpets like I did because, well, it's a little bit silly. I'm still going to spend some money. I'm putting these in though because this is going to be the white tiles for there. So that is now all ordered and we will, I think, leave it there. Oh, what we're going to put for the yard? I think for the yard, grass. We'll remove the planning around it and we'll put in probably some bleachers. Do I want them either side or not? I could put two either side like that even though it's a bit too large for this you got floodlights as well 
which I, I think we'll put in. And finally some weight benches. Um, like that. And that is a yard. And we'll see what the lights look like. Hopefully quite nice. Oh yeah, and they light up. Ah, oh, the, they don't light up right up, uh, where it is. They light up ahead of it like it you would expect it to. Hmm. That's a nice surprise. Unless it's a glitch, in which case, well, that wouldn't surprise me. Either way, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Next episode, then, we will go ahead and build the criminally insane wing. So that is, build a wing slash cell block for the criminally insane with 10 padded cells. Intake 10 criminally insane prisoners. Hire two uh, psychiatrists, each require an office. So, we will do that. I don't know whether or not these officers will be required, because it says it's psychiatrists, which I think are for the criminally insane inmates, which will have to go in this compound here. And I don't know whether or not this is... Well, this is not going to be one big building. I'm not going to do that. Next episode, we will plan off the... Um, we'll plan off the buildings that we need, which will include a couple of psychiatrists office, the holding area, a little sort of um, building here uh, surrounded by some fencing to stop them going around. I think uh, I think eventually uh, as well we will go ahead and remove all of this fencing because I just don't like being able to see underneath there. Instead we'll go with barred wall. The problem with barred wall versus the fence is that the fence costs three generic units of currency a square meter, uh, a square rather, and uh, the barred wall is 70. So it is a hell of a lot more expensive. So, yeah, we don't actually need, we, to be fair, we don't actually need to have that. We could um, probably just use standard wall. Um, I might do that, just use standard wall, uh, classy, the green stuff, and, and go around there. We'll see how we get on away. That's a futurist problem. So there we are. Uh, very, very good progress. Very happy with that. And good grief, that is like staring at the surface of the sun until you zoom right in, in which case it turns it off. Interesting. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead and build this compound here, as I said. Uh, we'll not go for the protective custody. Don't think that is something that we necessarily need. Until, obviously, the first prison that we get turns out to be someone who requires protective custody, in which case we'll do that. So next episode, I'll go ahead and build this, and then we'll probably get prisoners. And that should be fine, because we've got laundry, we've got kitchen. Not built, you understand, but we've got the majority of it in, uh, which will allow for prisoners to be, uh, you know, a, a, allow for prisoner arrival, basically, which is quite good. Still have the issues with these bridges and stuff not working, and the odd bug here and there, so we'll hopefully not have the game fail on us as soon as we get people turn up, but we'll see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.